So this is a model of the straw house. Can you tell us how this works? Yeah, this is a, a one-fifth scale model of the panels that make the house up that we've just seen. The house is made of 16 of these. So this is a wooden frame, which actually is the main structure of each of the panels. So the frame carries the weight of the building. And then inside the frame, we fill it with these straw bales. Um, so I've just taken this one out, but why is it packed so kind of close together like this? Imagine you wear, the, the building's wearing a nice woolly jumper, so it's there to keep the, the heat in the building. So you don't want any gaps where you're going to lose uh, your, your heat through the, through the walls. So how does this compare to what's been used in the past? Well, we've used straw in building for thousands of years. We've used it for roofing material, for thatch, and we've used it in earth building for making bricks. For example, like this, this is uh, an old earth brick uh, it's about 100 years old and as you can see there's straw incorporated in there and even though it's been in a real building for over 100 years, the straw there is still as fresh as the straw there. What's good about using a building material like straw? So materials like bricks, concrete are actually responsible for, they use a lot of energy and they're responsible for a lot of greenhouse gas emissions as well. So using something like straw can help to reduce those gas emissions. Could we see more straw buildings in the future? At the moment in the UK it's about 200 buildings, but I don't see why in, in a few years time that's going to be a few thousand buildings and potentially we could build up to 200,000 buildings a year. There's enough straw in the UK for us to build 200,000 homes every year. So in the future, who knows, we might have straw bale cities.